I am Anil Kumar sharing with you a very critical question on extreme value. The question here is, the wall of a building is to be braced by a beam that must pass over a parallel wall 5 meter high and 2 meter from the building. Find the height of the shortest beam that can be used. Here is the diagram. The wall is shown here. That is the beam and uh, the wall in between is 2 meters away and 5 meter high. We need to find the shortest length of the beam, right? So let's call this uh, length as L. Now let me call this point as A, let me just name them A, B, C and this point as D and here we have E. Now in the given scenario, we can relate length with the height and width using similar triangles. Uh, let us say that the, the height where the beam touches be Y. Okay, so this dimension be Y for us, which is AB. And the distance of the foot of the beam be X. Right, so, so that is how we can make a triangle relating X and Y. Now, if you look at it, triangle ABC, the big triangle ABC, is similar to triangle DEC. So that means Y over X is equal to 5 over uh, this side, which is X minus 2. X minus 2. So we have a relation between X and Y where we can write what Y is in terms of X. We could write this as Y equals to 5X over X minus 2. Okay. Now we can always write L using Pythagorean theorem as square of X and Y. So let's call this as L square equals to X square plus Y square. Since we know what Y is in terms of X, we can replace this with that value, which is 5X over X minus 2 whole square. So that becomes the value of L, uh, which we could write this as X square plus 25x square over x minus 2 whole square. So we have this length now as a function of x. Now it is easier to find the minimum length of this particular being by finding the first derivative and equating that to 0. Right? So so we can find what L dash X is, differentiating it with respect to X. So what we are doing now is we are differentiating this with respect to X, right, this equation. So we get 2X plus, now here X minus 2 whole square is in the denominator. So it becomes to the power of 4. Derivative of numerator is 50x times denominator which is x minus 2 whole square minus 25x square times derivative of this which is 2 times x minus 2, right? We can simplify this expression. We can write this as 2x plus 2 times 50 is, 2 times 25 is 50. So we can take 50x common, right? So we get over here. Or we can actually write this as, okay, let's take 50x common. And what we get here is 
x minus x minus 2 is also common right 50x and x minus 2 let me write x minus 2 also common and so what we get here is x minus 2 we have already taken 50x so we are left with x here minus x over x minus 2 to the power of 4 so this can be simplified we can write this to the power of 3 and uh, x minus x is 0 so we have minus 2 here right so so that could be also written as let me rewrite this so we have we can take a common denominator which is x minus 2 whole cube so we'll multiply 2x by x minus 2 whole cube and here we have uh, since x minus x is 0 we are left with minus 2 times 50 so we have minus 100 times x minus 100 times x correct as you can see these two x's cancel right okay so so we could actually take 2x common we could take 2x common so we get 2x and within brackets let me write square brackets we get x minus 2 whole cube and we're left with 50 here minus 50 divided by x minus 2 whole cube now for critical length first derivative should be equal to 0 right so this should be equal to 0 for critical length that will give us critical number perfect now for this expression to be 0 we know one thing that x has to be greater than 2 right so when we are writing this equation let me rewrite here that x has to be greater than 2 right so we are working in an interval which is infinite interval greater than 2 now in this particular case for that expression to be 0 numerator which is x minus 2 whole cube minus 50 should be equal to 0 is it okay now that helps to calculate us the value of x so we can take it to the other side cube root and add x to it right so uh, we can now write this as uh, let me rewrite this as x minus 2 whole cube is equals to 50 and then we can do cube root of 50 so x minus 2 is equals to cube root of 50 right and x is equals to 2 plus cube root of 50 so that is our critical number right now on the next page let me analyze and find out the answer right so we have a critical number so let's copy this to the next page so what we found here is that uh, that the derivative is equal to 0 for x is equals to 2 plus cube root of 50 correct that is what we have now the idea is to find the length and show that this is indeed the critical length so let me sketch the diagram once again here so what we have is kind of like this that's the wall and uh, we have this beam and there is a structure a wall at 2 5 here right so let's call this point as 2 5 the relation which we found was y is equals to 5x over x minus 2 from the similar triangles and the equation for l square we found as in terms of x it was x square plus 25x square over x minus 2 
whole square, right? So, uh, so these are the things which we already calculated. So from similar triangles, we found that y is 5x over x minus 2. And length L, therefore, is x squared plus all that, correct? So these are the values which we have. And now we have a critical number, which is 2 plus cube root of 50. So from here, we can al always find the value of y, or we can just substitute it here and calculate the length. So that will give us the minimum length. Means L is equals to square of this, which is 2 plus cube root of 50 whole square plus we could have taken x squared common and simplified this a bit right anyway uh, let me now write it as such 25 times so we are replacing x with 2 plus cube root of 50 uh, this is square so we'll square root it later let me simplify this. So we could write this as L square equals to, let's take X square common. Let's take X square common. So if I take X square common, we get 1 plus 25 over X minus 2 whole square, right? So that becomes the expression. And L, of course, will be square root of this. Correct? So now let's calculate the value. It'll be easier. So the x value is 2 plus all this. Let me get an equivalent decimal value for this. Okay. So we have cube root of 50, that is 50 to the power of 1 divided by 3 equals to plus 2 equals to 5.684. Let me write this value as equal to 5.684, right? So that becomes the value. So we'll replace x with 5.684. So we have 5.684 whole square over 1 plus 25 divided by 5.684 minus 2 whole square. Let's calculate this. So we'll square this number equals to, and then multiply within brackets, 1 plus 25 divided by, within brackets, 5.684 minus 2, bracket close, square, bracket close. Okay, so, so, okay, so we have, did I put a bracket before that? Let me close the bracket and then check. Yeah, I think so, it's okay. So what we get here, is a value which is 91.821 91.821 so let's find square root of this right so we have l equals to square root of 91.821 which is so we have square root of our answer which is equals to 9.58 9.58 so let me uh, write this as 9. 9.6 as approximate also, correct? So we get length as 9.6 meter from the critical number. Now the thing is, how do we show that this is the minimum length? So now the question is, why is it minimum length? Now that is what we need to show, perfect? Now since we have a boundary condition which is that x has to be, since this unit is two units away, x has to be greater than two, right? So in this case, we can find limit for the length function. This is the length function, right? So we can find the limit for the length function as x approaches two from the right side. So if we are very close to two, we know this limit for the length function is infinite because 2 minus 2 is 0, right? So anything divided by 0 is approaching to infinity, correct? So when we are approaching this closer and closer to the wall, it'll be a vertical line. So we need infinitely long line, correct? 
and also limit when x approaches infinity right x square is a term here right this will be zero uh, well x square is a term here which will lead this to infinity so what we see here is that the length is positive small number at the critical point and on the limits when x approaches 2 from the right side and also when x approaches infinity we get infinitely large values right and that implies minimum length do you see that so that is how when you are given infinite limit and you want to find extreme value you can actually use the limits and show that the answers signify a minimum value is it okay so we get our answer and that is 9.6 meters is the minimum length of the beam perfect feel free to share your views and comments if you like and subscribe that will be great thank you and all the best